the general overseer of the deeper life christian ministry uh, pastor kumuyi has urged nigerian youth to dialogue with the federal government to achieve positive, positive socio-economic impact change in the country the clergyman made the call on wednesday while speaking with newsmen at the port Harcourt airport kumuyi was in the state for a six-day program organized by the change makers international initiative the clary who is the convener of cmii described the program as a non-religious non-partisan non-denominational movement driven by a passion to achieve positive change and create social impact in nigeria he said that the program tax driving positive change and social impact was for humanity and would leave the world and community better he said the aim is to accomplish positive change in the lives of nigerians irrespective of their backgrounds to make them effect desire social and spiritual transformation nigeria's well documented social economic and moral problems are impacting all aspects of the country the stark reality of the situation is that all hands must be on deck to effect needed changes otherwise <laughs> the society will continue to suffer we see that every individual every family and every institution can do better and if we all do better in various areas relationships interaction at our workplaces our colleges everywhere there will be a change in the nation and it doesn't take mighty efforts little drops of water make a mighty ocean and if we can begin to begin the change here as individuals as families then carry the change to our offices and everywhere all that we are mourning and uh, groaning about we turn around for the better kumu he said he said that the group would not blame anyone for the past failures rather want a change for the better a fresh understanding and fresh service to the people according to him pointing accusing fingers will not solve the problems rather positive change we heal the nation when we say that there should be a change there could be different methods of bringing up the change the young and older people even the government may have different views but we must agree <laughs> we must agree on what to a positive change <laughs> this is what this man is saying if we can harness all efforts and energy together, not trying to defeat or crush anyone, the youth, the government, and everyone, knowing that we all have the right constitutionally to bring a change, we must we must all strategize at all at a round table to have direction to follow and achieve positive change. I also think that uh, when we love one another and respect and honor one another we will be able to sit down without any kind of grievances or retardation or destroying anything all we want is a better country and we will have it i must have to change in my attitude i might have to change my mindset i might have to change a lot of things and when those change come together they change a person they change his interaction and relationships and when those changes are made, we see a national change, we see a community change, and we go ahead to see global change. Just like the ripple effect, when each of our lights shine, it makes us see more light ahead. <clears throat> Let me tell you, Mr. Pastor, in other countries, we see people are misbehaving. So you can't, see, you can't tell people what to do and what not to do. When you have a family, because I'm always equating the the issue of government to the you know to, to the family issues when you have a uh, leaders the leaders are the ones that will control the people because it's assumed that for you to be a leader you have a sound mind you know what it is you'll be able to to gather people together you'll be able to lead people in a direction you want them to be not that you'll be doing nonsense and that is the hypocrisy we are seeing here instead of you people to speak truth to power no you will deviate and be looking the other way all children are you know they are prone to to misbehave and all human beings are prone to misbehave it is the system it is the leadership that will tell people to go in this direction and there must be 
for you to say, you know, if you want to come to equity, you must come with clean hands. If you must say people should do like this, you too, you must be above board. The politicians don't want to be taking responsibility. You don't want to call them to order to do the needful. But you always come back to the people. I don't even understand why these people are like this. Are you afraid of them? Nobody say you should fight anybody. Nobody say you should, you should insult anybody. Speak truth. You guys are not doing this in this area. In this area, you are trying. But you can do better. Because if you as a parent, if you are not do the, doing the right thing, you don't expect the children to do the right thing. It's you as a parent that will coordinate the children the way you, you want your family to go. That is how it's going to be. When I will see politicians who are stealing left, right and center, you make, see, see them making policies that are, are not a, a masses friendly. You don't see anything. And they themselves, they are living larger than life. You will not see anything. You will not call them out. No, it is the same people who are suffering that you are going to be calling to to have to behave well. You can't be telling children to behave well because if a child misbehaves outside, they will say, ah, who born is speaking? Who be in parents? Who are his parents? Nowadays, they say, who raised you? When somebody asks you, who raised you? That's, that's an insult to the parents. Who raised you for? But in Yoruba, there's a, there's a saying that, I don't want me, I want a cog back. There are some children that they have trained but on their own, they want to go their own way. You know that the parents have tried it because when you see the parents, you see the family, they are doing the right thing. And you begin to ask, where did these parents go wrong? Why did this child or particular children, why are they misbehaving? But when you see their parents, they are responsible people. Can we say the same thing to the Nigerian politicians, the leaders? You, they are misbehaving all over the world. But you will come back and be telling the people to do the right thing. People are hungry now. You cannot come out. You are talking about it. This idea of a, we need to change our attitude. The attitude, the people will not change their attitude. It is the government who will lead by example, who will make laws, and they are not going to be above the law. They are the ones that will make the difference. When you know that a, you as a leader, you know, maybe your, your leader, you know, is being punished for one offense or the other. You too, you're going to say, you are not, nobody's going to look at your side. So pushing back the responsibility or the blame back to the masses is where I have problem with these people. This uh, uh, this man called uh, uh, Kumui has never spoken truth to power. Speak the truth to them. I don't understand. You think it's by all these ones? Eh? It's unfortunate we, we hear this kind of a thing. How will they use dialogue with the government? The government that doesn't even want to dialogue, no, get involved or get interviewed. They are running. Hmm. They say this man is speaking from Jackpa location. Sir, you really try for saying something, but say we expect something better than this from you. Please, you need to come a bit. I suggest we call a spade a spade before things get out of hand. I encourage you to do. Remember, you are our voice. More grace. Let me say my own opinion. It is very unfortunate and worrisome that with some so many multiple high classic powerful men of God in our country today, no one of our religious fathers has devoted their time and resources to approach the federal government and also care to locate our crying youth who took to streets about end bad governance and hardship. There's nothing wrong if our religious fathers throw in themselves and dialogue together with them to seek divine solution. Now, wow, so without that law, how will you people get what you want from the government? The man of God only suggested, now nah, stop the insult. Nobody's insulting him. That has been his style from beginning. Oga or madam, whoever you are, you are not a man of God. It is called. Well, this guy is not even a serious human being at all. And if I may say, he talks with two sides of his mouth. I think I would tell your members the church, in the church not to pay tithes and offering to you again until Jagaban attends to the needs of the masses. Okay, some people are reacting in this manner. Our own is that if you t if you tell them the truth, you be at least let them, even if whether they listen or not, you know that you have said your own. You will tell the masses their own responsibility. You see, tell the, the government, the leaders, their own responsibilities, what they need to do. Are they doing what they are supposed to do as a government? No. They are not doing it, but you are telling people to, to, to behave. Ah, I don't understand this kind of people. Honestly, I don't understand. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.